season two. Now it's time for season three. Three of them in collaboration with Fat to Fit Weight Management Company presents Three of them Fat to Fit Challenge. Meiji Misamba. Want to lose some weight in an exciting way? Want to get your groove back? No worries at all. Join the expert and get a rebound in just six days. It's on. Here is the 3FM Fatal Fit Challenge. For more info, call 0548. 692355. 3FM Fox Fit Season 3 is sponsored by Aviation Social Center, Ariel's Haven, Badlock Season, It's a Curry Organic Shop, Sassy Fuji, Corban Photography, Blends, and Exemplar Innovation. 3FM Fox Fit Challenge. Lose the right way. Fox Fit Challenge Season 3 entered its fourth week with aerobics at the forecourt of TV3. The aerobics started as early as 5.30 a.m. with the weekly specials which included the biggest weight loser for the week. Inspiring stories on how participants had coped with their diet throughout the entire week. In every challenge, you need a motivator, one who will whip you into shape. And be the bully in the Fat to Fit Challenge does just that. She gives you a good reason to lose weight the right way. Her trademark is to bully you into shape with a smile. She believes if you desire the shape hard enough, you will achieve it through hard work and discipline. Every week, she brings on new energy and a smile that encourages participants to better position themselves for the week ahead. Leading the aerobic session, it was fun as men became boys and women became girls, enjoying aerobic sessions with so much ease. Some participants shared the experiences. It hasn't really been easy, very challenging. Um, but I can say that I have really, really, really improved. It's been an, an incredible journey. For me, it's about a lifestyle change because I've lost weight before in the past, but I couldn't keep up with it because I went right back. So it was about making the right choices, and I feel a lot better. I wanted to feel healthy and live healthy too, so it's been good. The juicing week was perfect for me. So far, so good because, um, as you can see now, their energy level is very high. And everybody is determined. So when people are determined, it's very fun. You know, even when you are bringing a move and they don't know, they want to learn it because they know it's good for them. That was the first time I, I, I checked my weight here. And it's, it's, it's been massive. As I stand here now, I'm 83.5. And I know by the time I finish, the target of 79 will be met. I see much progress. It's not been easy, but with determination. You can make it and it's not only about losing weight it's also about incorporating a healthy lifestyle from the beginning uh, my sight wasn't really well but since i started eating well my sight has gone i mean it has gone beyond how i was expecting it to be but so far fat to fit has really helped and i thank akoto for helping me i mean find fat to fit to join them and it, it's been good Major Nisamba. Oh, we had the Cheetahs Association on board for the first time. It's a challenge to go through the seasons, especially the juice and week and the special diet seasons without cheating. So you see, not everybody can win this battle. But that's fine. For those who cheated, we'll give them a second chance. So this is Akoto de Gros, CEO and founder of Fat to Fit Ghana. And like I always say, Making a commitment to a healthy lifestyle it's, is the, one of the greatest choices you would ever make. And on this program, the 3FM Fat to Fit 60 Days Challenge, we are helping people commit to a healthy lifestyle. Enjoy the rest of our highlights. Next week promises to be more exciting. Stick and stay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Oddlaw Seasonings, for sponsoring us. That's 100 Ghana City worth of Oddlaw Seasonings. 3FM Fat to Fit Season 3 is sponsored by Aviation Social Center, Ariel's Haven, Oddlaw Seasoning, It's a Curry Organic Shop, Sassy Switchy, Corban Photography, Blends, and Exemplar Innovation.
Wow. 60 strong days of keeping fit, eating right, and as part of it, 3FM in collaboration with their partners brought to you that one. Well, there's a finale that's coming up, and I've been joined by certified weight loss expert Akutu de Gross and Diana Asmadakwa. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. Thank Good, morning. You. Good morning. Uh, you should see them on the screen. Perhaps, uh, well, Harriet, maybe let's get to see uh, Akutu, Akutu de Gross from back in the day. So this is Akuto de Gross. Uh -huh. <laughs> this was, Akuto, how, how heavy were you at the time? At the time, 130 kilograms. 130 kilograms, yes. and that's you now. Yeah. How heavy are you now? 65, so 65. like half my that's size. A, like a half yeah. of what? Okay, and this is uh, Dinah as well. Uh, okay, this is Dinah. Uh, being big is beautiful, so they say. <laughs> but <laughs> this is Dinah. Interesting. And Dinah, how heavy were you at the time? 100. 100? Yes. Yeah. Wow, and you are, you are what now? I'm now around 83. Wow, so that's Dinah now, uh, before and after. Uh, did it come easy? Ah, it wasn't easy, <laughs> <laughs> but with determination, I mean, you'll be able to get there. Here's it another fact to fit her. Yeah, Ivan. Okay. She joined our season one challenge wow. with 140 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Now and Ivan is 85. She's 85. Yes. Wow. But Charlie, this thing, you talk about this thing as if it's just... It's easy, yeah. Uh, and we thing. smile and we, yeah. It's, but it's, it's a lot of... It's not easy. It's not easy, I know. Is it? Is it? So, so 60 days, what were they doing during the 60-day challenge? So the Fat to Fit 60 days program, it's a different program because it's exciting. Right. It's challenging. Mm. There is a support group. Okay. You know, all of us have the same goal of trying to lose weight and keep healthy. Okay. So we designed a program and said that uh, participants met every week okay. for exercise sessions. Okay. And they also received weekly meal plans. Mm. So these are meal plans that have been put together by fat to fit okay. That if you follow carefully, mm. Mm. you are sure to, to lose weight. Wow. Yeah. And so, Diana, um, let's start from day one when you got on. What were you told? How did it go? Share with us. Okay. Day one, when I joined... Uh, it was a friend who introduced me to the fat to fit. Okay. So I was saying, oh, I need to take some fat out of me because I've given birth and I'm okay. looking plumpy and I need to share some fat out. So when I spoke, I think I sent up to a meal that I want to be part of it and I'm a breastfeeding mother. Okay. And I also said, okay, we are through with season three and okay. uh, season two. Okay. So he'll sign up, he'll hook, hook me up on season, season three. three right. He did that and from day one, when I saw the menu, I said, wow, can I do this? What was it? What was it? That you was see, the, the first plan? they were supposed to do a uh, watermelon. Exactly. Okay. De detoxing. Okay. So watermelon the whole day, it was a Sunday. Okay. I was looking at a bowl of fufu with my <laughs> meat. I was like, wow. <laughs> but you see, so I challenged myself that, oh, well, Everything is about determination. Mm, right. If you want to lose weight, it doesn't come easy. Okay. So why don't I go through the plan? And the first day I did it, and okay. I started following the menu plan and doing right. my size as well. Right. So, so you followed through with yes. it? No cheating? No. Once a while you would cheat because okay. I remember one, uh, one time there was somebody who was celebrating his birthday at the workplace. Okay. And they brought kebab. <laughs> I was looking at the kebab and I said, God. Then we just, I went to the internet to check. How many calories is, is in a, a roasted a goat kebab? Okay. Okay. They was giving me like 100. I said, oh, the 100, I can eat it. <laughs> I can bear it, I can it. Can bear it yes. actually. But, uh, mm -hmm. So, so for, for, for people like you who have children, who have a family, your husband and all of that, what kind of support system did you get from home? Because they are not part okay. of the program. Okay, my husband has been very, very supportive. In fact, he has been complaining about my My husband is actually a slim type. Okay. So when I told him that I'm interested in this uh, program, right. he said, okay, fine, I'll give you all my support. So what I do is that when I wake up in the morning, I take my daughter, I have a one-year-old daughter, I'm breastfeeding her. So I take her to my husband, my husband will take care of the child, okay. then I'll go out and go and do my exercise. Okay. Then when I come, anytime, every Saturday when you're having a family meeting, okay. he drives me all the way to... Uh, uh, either aviation center or I mean, sir. Okay. He goes there and challenge my wife, you can do it, you okay. can do it. And he has been very supportive. But he's slim, he doesn't have to uh, No, no, weight. he's around 60 something. He's fit to Yes, fast. and he has maintained <laughs> his, his weight for so long. I see. Yeah. He does a lot of exercise, even though he's not fat. Yeah, of course. I mean, I can see where he does the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell the gross. Yes. So the final is coming up. Yes, it's coming how, up. How does it feel uh, when you you know that you impact mm. the lives of many people. I've seen many people, yeah. you know, right from season one, season two, season yeah, two, because yeah. 3FM has been part of exactly. it. Exactly. And how does it feel to impact the lives of people and still feel good about it? It's that you can't find the words, you know, Johnny. It's because when I was even going through my own weight loss journey, at some point I remember saying to myself, you know what, I really want to help other people. 
Because I was told several times that I couldn't do it. Okay. I, I, you can never do it right. by friends, family. Right. So when I overcame it, I said, you know what? Let me go out there and make a difference. Mm -hmm. So I started Fat to Fit. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just fulfilling to see the, the changes in mm -hmm. the lives of people. Mm -hmm. People who, who, who thought they could never, never lose weight. Mm -hmm. But now through the program, they are coming down. And you know, weight loss journey, is, it goes beyond just looks. Okay. It's fundamentally your health. Right. And you know, your health is your greatest asset. Absolutely. If you are not he healthy or if you are ill, the, the bucket stops. I mean, you can't do right. anything. Right. So people should, you know, look at weight loss as, as, as a healthy, uh, up, like, you know, healthy approach. Mm. And it's, it's just been amazing mm. so far on the For challenge. For people like Dinah, yeah. who've, uh, they had a goal, they've lost weight. Mm. How do they keep at being them, what they've become now? Yeah, maintenance. The slim, trimmy, yeah. pretty, yeah. you know. It's, that's a very good question. Yeah. Many people say they lose weight, then they go back. Right. I have lost, it's been three years since, you know, uh, maintaining, getting my weight, and okay. I have not gone back. Okay. And it's because I, I, I made a mindset of living a healthy lifestyle. So the same things you did to lose it okay. are almost the same things you have to do to keep it. Right. If you say you've lost weight and so now you are going back to eat all the junk food and you, know, you don't exercise, mm. definitely, Johnny, it will come back. Right. So you have to maintain that healthy lifestyle. Okay. I mean, like Diana said, once in a while you may be tempted. Okay. I mean, recently I would confess. Confess. I had a Kit Kat, the, <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> KFC Kit Kat. Okay. Because I was waiting for somebody at KFC and okay. I was just so tempted. Okay. And so the next day I had to, you know, run extra miles. I'm <laughs> like, I have to burn this. Just you know, burn everything exactly, else. You know. So once in a while, mm. you may you want to have something. Right. But I mean, for the majority part of your, of your diet, you should be eating healthy, you know, more veggies, more fruits and okay. less carbs mm. and then less oily stuff. Tell us about the finals that's coming up. Uh, yeah. wh when is it? It's on Saturday, this Saturday. Coming Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Where, where at the Aviation Social Center. Okay. At exactly 5.30 a.m. Right. And the general public is invited. Okay. It's going to be epic. Okay. We're going to show, you know, it's not only Diana who has lost weight. Okay. There is Ivy, there is, uh, what is the competitor? Isaac. Isaac. Okay. Isaac. Okay. It's a guy, you know, Calvis, okay. Joseph. In fact, it's going to be the whole family. Okay. It's, it's, we are now like a, you know, bonded family. Right. And we welcome all the public, everyone to come and join us. Okay. For this great occasion. Right. Yeah. So, Saturday, Aviation Social Center. What time? 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. Exactly, uh, yeah. What should I wear to, to appear? Please come in your sport wear. Okay. And then, like I said, we'll be, we'll be crowning the biggest weight loser. The right. one who has lost the most weight. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, we would launch season four. Right. Which many people are looking up to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. how expensive is it to get onto the... The program. Because uh, I practiced vegetarianism for quite some time. Yeah. For about 11 years. Mm, mm. And I must tell you, it's expensive mm. to live as a vegetarian. Is that the same indication you get, Diana? Yes, it's expensive. Fruits, veggies. But, yes, but what I do is that it's not always that I eat the vegetarian food. Mm. What I do is that uh, in front, if I want to take, uh, let's say, rice, mm. I know you know vegetables is not expensive. Right. Like taking the lentil and okay. those things, that's okay. the expensive one. Okay. So I make sure that everything that I do, I do the calculation. Okay. I look at the calories that is in the food, mm. the quantity of food and okay. check. Then make sure that I don't exceed what is required of me a day. Mm. Because if my body wants to take like 1,005 calories okay. a day, mm. I make sure that I eat like 500, 700. Mm. Even if I'm eating fruits, I check the calories in the fruit and everything. So I'm conscious of whatever I eat. Mm. Even though I don't go strictly uh, right. vegetarian. Yeah. Right. So Saturday, uh, five thirty a.m. Yes. Aviation Social Center. I yes. say you have seven simple seven, uh, steps yes, to yes, yes. In fact, uh, that's the final one. Exactly. Uh, Everyone in my program has. You're showing sure your six pack. Exactly. Right. will be jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my, my first book that I wrote uh, okay. on my journey. Okay. And I'm actually launching my second book. Wow. On second April at La Palme. Okay. It's called Change What You Eat. Change how you look. Change what you eat, change, change how, how you, you look. look. Yes. So we should stop eating the kinky and the domedo, and the wachi and the wele. In moderation. <laughs> but I would, I would say, you know, stop. But then, if you can, just in moderation. The devil is a liar. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but let me also say a quick thank you mm. to our sponsors. Right. They have been very, very supportive. Quick, quick, man. Uh, 